standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. Space, the funnest frontier. These are the voyages of Kermit the Frag delivery system, whose ongoing mission is to seek out ships with bounties, shoot them real hard, and blow them up like no one has done before. 07 Commanders, Manus Dextra here. Welcome to episode 4. This is going to be my long-promised, easy-engineered, all-frag chieftain build. Well, my original chieftain build is still perfectly viable for PDE. This is, by far, my favorite new flavor of chieftain. It's not a PDP build. The defenses work well for open play, and the frag cannons could give any low-level gankers a lethal surprise, but they aren't suited for combat against a properly armed PvP ship with a competent pilot. If you're interested in PvP, we'll have suggestions for weapons in the build breakdown. So, let's get started. As always, here's my loyal minion, Chief Engineer and Occasional Co-Pilot, Barry Allen, to deliver the 411. Thank you, Master. It is my greatest pleasure in life, God help me, to cater to your every whim. Please check the description for a Coriolis link to this build. While you're at it, like and subscribe for more awesome Elite Dangerous content. Also, I would consider it a personal favor, since Mr. Dextra has informed me that he will not purchase any more food for my dining pleasure until this channel qualifies for monetization. Forgive me for rambling, but hunger makes it so hard to concentrate. Back on topic, I can assure you, without reservation, that this ship is one. Bad mother. Shut your mouth. But I'm talking about Kermit the Frag delivery system. Oh yeah, then I can dig it. Despite its questionable parenting skills, as built this ship will cost about 69 million credits before discounts. In this easy, engineered build we are using the following level 1 engineers. Felicity Farseer 4, Grade 3 Thruster Dirty Drive Tuning with Drag Drives. Grade 1 Heavy Duty Shield Booster with Super Capacitors. Grade 1 Resistance Augmented Shield Booster with Super Capacitors. We're using Elvira Marchuk 4, Grade 3 Thermal Resistant Shields with Low Draw Effect. We're using the Dweller 4, Grade 5 Charge Enhanced Power Distributor with Cluster Capacitors. And we're using Todd the Blaster McQuinn 4, Grade 3 Overcharged Frag Cannons with a variety of experimental effects, such as, Screening Shell, Corrosive Shell, Drag Munitions, and Dazzle Shell. For core internals, no change to the hull, yet. We're going with a 6A power plant. Frag cannons don't use much power, so there's no need to engineer this yet either. As always we want speed, so our 6A thrusters are upgraded to level 3 dirty drive tunings with the drag drive experimental effect. We have an unengineered 5A FSD installed. Since we will not be using this ship to travel, this module can be downgraded to 5D to save mass and money. As usual, we're using a class D life support module, unengineered as well. The 6A power distributor has been upgraded to level 5 charge enhanced with cluster capacitors. And we finish out core internals with perfectly adequate, unengineered 4D sensors. For optional internals, we'll start with a class 6C by weave shield generator upgraded to level 3 thermal resistant with the low draw experimental effect. This reduces the power and distributor draw for the shield generator by about 20%. Lower draw for shields means we can leave more pips to feed our power hungry dirty drag drives. For the rest of the slots, we have 1 class 5D hull reinforcement package, 3 class 4D hull reinforcement packages, 1 class 4D and 1 class 2D module reinforcement package. 
And to finish, we have a class 2A fuel scoop and a class 1 E cargo rack just in case. None of these modules have been engineered as of yet. Moving on to hard points, we have two class 3C and one class 2D gym bailed frag cannons. All three have been upgraded to level 3 overcharged with the screening shell experimental effect. Taken together these modifications greatly enhance damage output of our cannons. Mr. Dextra recommends that commanders interested in PvP combat should consider replacing the large frag cannons with overcharged plasma accelerators. For experimental effects, target lock breaker and dispersal are good choices. The three class 1 e bailed frag cannons and the small slots are also upgraded to level 3 overcharged. For experimental effects, one has corrosive shells to increase hull damage one has drag munitions to slow targets down. And one has dazzle shells to debuff targets sensors. For utility mounts we have a single chaff launcher, and three class A shield boosters. Currently one shield booster is engineered to grade 1 heavy duty and the other two are engineered for augmented resistance to grade 1. All three use the super capacitor effect for increased shield boosting capacity. Thanks for the breakdown, Bear. So, if there are any drawbacks to this build at all, one would be the limited ammo and another would be weaker shielding. However, if you need to stay in combat for an extended period, basic ammo is easy to synthesize, and for those harder targets, premium ammo is more costly, but it gives a 30% buff to damage. This is why I like ammo-based kinetic weapons so much. As for hull damage, it's a feature of this ship, not a flaw. The Chieftain is designed to be a hybrid hull tank with very thick armor. Shields are there to slow the rate of hull damage, not prevent it. Even so, my shields rarely break due to weapons fire, and I usually get more hull damage from collisions in close combat. Make no mistake. This build works best when you hold fire until you can see the whites of the other commander's eyes. In short, it's a face-tanking brawler. As it is, only using mods available from level 1 engineers, this little beast is quite destructive. And competent pilots should be able to take out any single NPC ship with this build. If you're a more casual type commander and or you only do PDE combat, this build could be all you need. Full stop. Of course, we're not going to settle for good enough. Not when we can achieve ridiculous levels of overkill. This ship still has plenty of untapped potential, so stay tuned to see that potential realized in the next few weeks. But right now, let's go blow up some stuff. The balance of this video is going to be combat highlights. So thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. You get the idea.
Congratulations, you've been promoted. Well, I think that's enough carnage for one video. So, until next time, Commanders.